Ah, no one's here, but it is roughly, it is roughly the time it is meant to be to start stream. So, you know, it probably, it would be, probably be smart-ish to do that. Smart-ish to do the thing I do, you know, with the stream and the whatnot. That stuff. Hello. Hello. Oh, mate. Yesterday was, yesterday was weird. Am I, am I right? <laughs> I say as I'm about to make a awful an, another awful decision in 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 what today's content will be which is of course um trying to once again you know fucking make an entire comic <laughs> in one stream Yeah, I'm just checking some stuff. Making sure everything's on the up and up as I blow my nose. <laughs> I didn't get like too much done today because here's the thing. Um, my medicine was not being filled for like the first entire half of the day and stuff, so. That was, that was it. That was an experience. At first it was fine, and then it was very not fine. But we lived. I'm here. We're good. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty great. So I'm not going to get too worried about it. I'll know if I need more life-saving medicine when my life starts being in danger. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna try drawing the entire Fossil Boy update for patrons here and now. Whether I not or not I succeed at that task, will only time will tell. But you know, I failed at it last time, and I'm determined not to, I'm determined not to fail twice in the exact same manner. So, let's do it. You know what? You want to know something I think will help us this time around, though? Um, I forget. Let me check what the last week's... Oh my goodness, update looked like. Yeah, last week's update was a lot of, like, unique backgrounds and everything. Each panel basically warning its own wholly original image. This one... I will be draw after I get done with this panel and this little thing right here. Um, I, I will be drawing a background here and then copy and pasting it eight times. <laughs> so promises to be a delight. That's much easier. Yeah. You know, I don't think I talked about it on stream, but... Uh-oh. But, like... Um... I have an interview with a bookstore soon. I'm very excited for that, because if I'm being honest, if there's one type of job in capitalism that sounds, uh... good for me outside of the careers I want to do because I just enjoy the task of doing them and making art and creating stuff for people. Excuse me, I'm just a sneezy boy. Anyway, but yeah, outside of the stuff I would just very much like to do because I like doing them, uh, bookstore sounds pretty good, so. I'm always paranoid a friend will join and I'll miss it because I never want that to happen. I never want friend to join, and I and I don't get to s interact with friend. That would make me the most sad. Ugh. See, sometimes my allergies. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I just discover completely. Did I do the same mistake? No, I did not. Okay. Sometimes I just discover completely mundane stuff. I don't know if other people get this, but. Sometimes it'll feel like my allergies are really acting up, but honestly, all I need to do is, like, 
blow my nose real hard. Just really clear out the old nose. And then, bang, I'm all good. So. Also want to say, I, I haven't drawn much of Fossil Boy's back before. But if you look at Fossil Boy head on, which we might do in a second, because I need to get, grab a thing from Comic 2. Uh... If you look at him from, like, the fr front, it's just, like, he's got a little face, and he has a little, and his body is, like, an armored rib cage. But the back is a bit more disturbing, I, because it's just a, it's a spot, it, you lose a lot of the dinosaur elements, and then it's just a human spine and rib cage. <laughs> but you want to know something? I, I wouldn't take it away from him. I love my boy. My boy! That's my son! Oh. 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 Yeah, I don't know how many people pick up on it, but... Because this is not going to be a text bubble. This is going to be like us showing what his expression is. And I don't know if anyone's really noted it yet, but my, my boy Fossil Boy does not speak. He does not speak words and languages. This, I mean, this will probably come up just like in the comic straight up. So I don't have to worry about saving this for Patreon. Um... When when Fossil Boy was being built, they were they were like, well, he probably won't need the ability to read or speak, so they did not give him a voice box, and they did not <laughs> program within him the ability to read any languages. <laughs> he he does have the his mind is based off of that of a child. <gasps> Hello, pig. So, like, it kind of works out. It's not like this is a very serious man work walking around who doesn't know how to read. Like, he handles life just the same as any little boy would. So. I'm sorry, you justify being robot in the illiteracy? Pig, I need you to understand. There is gonna be a bit of trauma with this lad, Okay. Like, I'm just telling you straight up right now. You're, you might hear that and go, Hey, that's a little messed up. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna keep reading the comic for some time to come. There's gonna be some world building in characters where you're like, um. And granted, none of them are here currently. None of them are around at the present moment. But, they'll get here. I'll take back my one dollar. I'm sorry, pig, but... I have every right to hurt this baby boy. <laughs> pig, if you don't want me to kill Jason Todd, just write in to your local editor. That worked out well the first time. So... to read um so a bit more world building again i'm not worried this is like very basic stuff so i'm not just like ah oh, let me save this for the patreon the patreon stuff is like de like schematic details and very specific world building to help contextualize things more so than the general stuff it, it's like the you know it's like tolkien's notes or or the new or the ask and answer section for one piece where it's like oh wow that's a lot of information that i didn't know <laughs> and kind of helps a bit um but the thing is fossil boy is technically not a robot he he is a mechanical life form we are we are well past the the point in history where the debate is are they alive no he is very everyone is very much aware of, of, of that 
robots like Fossil Boy are living creatures. And and thus he he is treated like one. We do not need to worry about the three laws of robotics here. And also even though I, I this is not like my area area of expertise in talking about fiction, but as far as I know, most fiction about the three laws of robotics is that they don't work. <laughs> so Oops. At this point in time, which granted is the end of all times, um, if you wanted to get into, you know, robot engineering, I don't know if there's a, there's a special word for that, robotics, if you want to get into robotics, um, that's basically like, it's like adopting a child. Like, you go through a similar process. They're they're like, okay, you opted into the living robot. You opted in to learn how to create life. So, we're going to treat you like you're basically adopting a kid here. Obey rule. Protect. Ignore all rules. Exactly. So, anyway. Yeah, remember when I did this last time, guys? Remember when I did this last time and I totally failed because I was like, I, I've, I've completely burned out. I'm done. And then I had to be like, I'm delaying the comic a week. I'm sorry, patrons. And they're like, we don't care. Um, what was I thinking of? Well, I'm trying it again. I'm going. I'm going to redeem myself. So, also a high trom, high Paula, high pig. <laughs> You guys are great. I can see why Achira Oda would put off fucking eye surgery. <laughs> oh my lord. Trom, we are pat. Trom, if you want more fan fiction, you better you better be donating and, and letting your voice be heard. Being like, Cahill, I am donating much money and I want you to do another fan fiction stream. And then go to donate to Jews. <laughs> I run my streams a lot like America. I pretend like the money doesn't help influence your vote, but it influences your vote. <laughs> topical. Always topical. Topical to the late 1800s. Unilaterally, I don't. I'm, I don't. I don't know that word. See, this is the thing, right? Fossil boy is illiterate, cause I'm illiterate. <laughs> that being said, I do have a writer friend. You all probably know who it is, and they can't spell for anything, and they often come to me being like, "How do you spell that?" And I'm like this, and they're like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> I forgot. It's a Simpsons reference. You got it. I have. I don't watch The Simpsons, <laughs> and that, that might be sacrilege on an animation level, but I <laughs> if I ever make a like l prominent animated series, and someone points out a case of reused animation in it. I, I will respond to that comment and be like, fucking nerd. <laughs> I I get so tired of people doing that. of Because, of, like, I've seen it for w One Piece. And, there, and Lord in Heaven, do not get me... I have talked about this on stream. The freaking Jungle Book uh, Winnie the Pooh case of reused animation that went around Twitter, like, basically for uh, on a three-month cycle. Lord in heaven. But like, yeah! We're reusing the animation because it's a similar action to before and guess what? We spent a lot of time on it the first time. Sailor Moon did it every episode. And y'all go gaga for that one. So we're doing it once. So you can look at it cool again.
So yeah, I, 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 sometimes it's like, oh, that's kind of funny. But other times I'm just like, stop, please. When they use it as a mark against whatever media they're talking about in animation, I'm like, you, you know nothing. It, it's a case, I, I can't think of a better case than you do it. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, you want a wholly original sequence for this well-animated part? You're gonna, okay, I need you to both storyboard it and animate it. On a timeline. I'm saying this, and I'm not even in the professional world of animation. I'm just... I, I, I'm i angry on their behalf. I was just like, you... You don't realize what you're saying. <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's like, yeah, someone worked real hard on that, and we're gonna show it again. I'm sorry. Do, do you like it when you do something real cool and people only talk about it once and then move on for literally ever? No. No? Well, well, well gee. Well, we're already off to starting to talk about salty animation. I don't know if that's a sour note <laughs> for a lot of people in the starter stream, but... I'm just thinking about it. Uh, there is, I, there is something coming at the end of the month, and I am literally so beyond excited for it, but I can't talk about it because it spoils, and I think genuinely it would be great if everyone was able just to discover it on their own, like by getting through the story and finding it out. I'm kind of debating um, doing a fan art stream of it when it when it releases, but I don't. But a, I, I've talked a lot about spoilers on here. Oswald, are you playing around? Oswald's having a good time. Um, I mean, I wonder if I label a stream the spoiler stream. Does it make me a hypocrite? Does it make me a hypocrite to talk about, like, well, don't spoil these things. Don't just constantly talk about these major spoilers, but then do a stream where I'm doing fan art of spoilers? Who knows? I guess the difference is I would be labeling mine, but I'm also saying that as the per- I'm, I'm judging myself. I'm not getting an outside perspective on that. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself, always, forever. I'm an echo, I'm a night, it's, my mind is an echo chamber. I have conversations with whole other people, but it's all just me. And I'm going completely, completely insane. <laughs> Hello, Juice. Juice, we uploaded a clip today onto TikTok that has you on it. I hope you're okay with that. I'm pretty sure you're okay with that. Because, I don't know, Oak was the one who pointed out, like, did you not ask them? Sar sarcasm face, but... I mean, I can go back and censor your name. N do some VA work. Oswald. I gave o I put Oswald out today, and I kind of set up like a little like roof and everything for him. Like a little lean-to. And he seems to have really liked it. I also put out a bucket, and I thought he might crawl in the bucket. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm sorry chat, this is important. I'm doing bunny safety. From over here. Aha. Whoa. 
I have this concludes the bunny safety. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I was all trying to play with the handles and I realized there's tape on the handles. And I'm like paper's okay for bunnies. Microplastics probably not. Oh yeah, let me talk about this. Because I think it's interesting. So, I mean, in my emotes and, and across many of my accounts, you'll find Alex, who is a character I still hope to do something with one day. And I liken him to Superman, right? Like, that's um, that's who I see him as. He, he, he is the archetype kind of character where it's like he is super strong, and when he shows up, the problem is solved. So it makes it easy to kind of do art of him. Um, he has such a strong direction in his aesthetic and, and story like that. But I was like, what's well, Fossil Boy, you know? He, he, he's a boy. He can't be, he can't be the strong Superman. And you know what Fossil Boy is? I thought about this today because I was listening to Big Iron. Um, a Fossil Boy is a, is a gunslinger. He, he's a, he's just a little guy. He rolls up, doesn't say much, and then outdraws outdraws the bad guy. He, he's got he's got a tool to fix the situation, and boy howdy will he use it. Big on on his hip to the town of Agua Fria rode a stranger one fine day. Didn't. See Speak to folks around him, didn't I have too much to say? No one dared to ask his business, no one dared to make a slip. For the stranger there among them had a big iron on his hip. Big iron on his hip. I basically went full goofy for that one. Sometimes you gotta go full full goof. Which, as, as, as Max learned in the hit motion picture a goofy movie if we listen to each other's hearts we'll find we're never too far apart and maybe love is a reason why for the first time ever we're seeing it eye to eye seeing it eye to eye for the first time, first time. Love a cool, I should watch a goofy movie. I was actually thinking, so, you know, in the interest of studying media, to, to be like, to in, in, in order to make good media, as that which I have absorbed in the past myself, I was, I was thinking today, as I was thinking about the gunslinger archetype, uh, Iraqi-based Jotaro Kujo, who, bar none, is basically, like, the most influential and popular protagonist of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, a series which is literally always changing protagonists. <laughs> um, and he's based on Clint Eastwood in his westerns. I was like, I, I don't think I've seen a Clint, Clint Eastwood... Clint East... Clint East, yes, that is. <laughs> I was like, did I already forget his name? Clint Eastwood Western. Maybe I should see if I can find a good one and, and watch it. I don't. I know the classic is the good, the bad, and the ugly, but I want to. You know, I don't want to just watch the one everyone knows. I want to watch it slightly less tightly. You know, on the same level. But maybe just not as on the nose. Not just to be a hipster, but you know. If I'm if I'm looking to get the gist of it, then seeing the one everyone knows and talks about will just be like, oh, he watched the good, the bad, and the ugly. And, and that's it. It's like, no. Stupid, I watched a lot of them. You don't know.
I know I should post it in the Discord, but when I was in Disney, while well, they were, they started celebrating their 100th anniversary of the company, which honestly is pretty cool for a lot of reasons, I, I still, listen, full disclosure, I still very much admire Golden Age Disney for a lot of the stuff that they managed to produce and do. Especially when you think about Disneyland. That's why I, I literally... Maybe that's why I like One Piece so much. Because I, I think I see Disneyland in the same way Luffy sees the One Piece of, oh, that's the end of the road. That That is that is the ultimate thing you can do, and thus I must do it. But anyway, and you know, when they started doing their 100th anniversary celebration, they had some Oswald stuff. And they had a big old Oswald water bottle for sale, and you gotta know I got that. It, it's... It is fantastic. The water bottles they sold there were not the best. They were largely very skinny. And I'd argue not too useful for carrying a lot of water, especially for large Mr. Cahill like myself. But this one, it's not one of those, you know, drink this once for the entire day water bottle, but... It's, it's like half a one of those. <laughs> so it's big. I just fill it up and start drinking. Um, alcohol, no thanks. My drink is pure water. It keeps me healthy and regular. When I go poo-poo diarrhea all over myself, I'm sure I'm real well hydrated. You know... I did have a discussion amongst friends, because a number of my friends are lactose intolerant, and they were just talking about eating so much cheese, and um, I was like, you would die like how dysentery does you on the Oregon Trail, and they said, nah, -uh. I said, yes, huh, and I think Juice in particular was like, no, because the cheese would be refilling you all the time, and, and thus you would not have to worry about dying of losing all, all all of your insides and stuff like dysentery, I'd be like, I'm not sure that's how it works. Was it was that not you? Was it Oak? It might have been Oak. But regardless, I I still <laughs> submit that if you were just. If you were just going through something like that, eating something that was instantly making you that sick, ad infinitum, you probably wouldn't come out the better for it. Even in the best case scenario where you've been set up in such a way that yeah, maybe you are like, I don't know, able to consistently refuel and, 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 and resupplement yourself I still think something would give within a day I was trying to be like maybe it would take like a couple days no I think a day of a process like that would leave you much worse for wear not just emotionally I do mean physically so should I play Oregon Trail on on the channel probably not I've heard I've heard a lot about different games, but I don't think Oregon Trail is a good one. <laughs> I mean, it might be a good game in some ways, but like I'll I'll be like, well, yeah, Legend of Zelda one, perfect, great game. Maybe it's aged a little weird, but all 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 around, I think it holds up. But Oregon Trail might not hold up, <laughs> you know. Dying randomly and instantly. I mean, that's just a random Steam game that you found for on sale. But that doesn't make it good. You know, speaking of Oregon Trail, which is... This is... This is... This is the weirdest... See, this is what my streams can offer people. Can we just make a... a one minute clip of me going from... Fucking... However, I got to the cheese dysentery topic to 
Oregon Trail to now I want to talk about cassette futurism. Because Oregon Trail was on, you know, DOS. It was on those very old operating systems. And I was going to say, um, like, that that's my plan for the technology in Fossil Boy. Outside of the robots themselves, the the infrastructure this world is working with is very alien Star Wars high-tech, low-tech stuff. There ain't no iPads. You ain't got no flappy birds in this future. You're gonna have to go outside find a bird out there. Because they won't be on your f phone, your iPhone. Huh. Kids in their phone, am I right? No, little Jimmy, you can't scroll on the book. Aha! <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Kids today don't know how to use a floppy disk. I know. They don't know how to use a technology that is no longer useful, never will be again, and was a major player in the tech industry for less than a decade and they don't know how to use it oh, these kids what's wrong with them they'll never make it in the world anyway i got i can't find a job now because i don't know what microsoft excel is um please help <laughs> i both don't like and love the character i've just created of person making <laughs> of person making like boomer tech memes but also cannot find a but is also currently in between jobs because he himself does not understand tech grandpa <laughs> And I've talked about this before, but my mom will go off on stuff being like, Dylan, do you even know what this is? And it'll be like a VHS tape. I have VHS tapes in my room because I love the VHS. I love I, I love a gritty VHS format, you know, I, I like I like how it looks. I'm, that's, I'm the fucking I'm putting my this series in futurism because I like it. And I'm like, yes, mom, I was alive. When you, when you were still using those, and she was like, uh -huh, were you? I'm like, you don't remember the earliest parts of my life, which is more concerning for you than me. Kids today don't know how to turn on a Macintosh One computer and operate it without the internet. <laughs> They'll never make it in the tech world. If you need a evidence for how fast if anyone out there for whatever reason needs evidence for how fast technology move on moves on fucking GameStop doesn't even sell Wii games anymore they're like the Wii is too old and I'm like I still have a Wii I, I like playing my Wii and they're like too old or 3D 3DS went out a while ago no more 3DS for you guys it's old. It's like damn. But wait, I like my 3DS. It's a it's a good portable console. I'm very nervous for what Nintendo's next console is going to be, because genuinely, how the Wii has changed what I like about home consoles. I mean, not the Wii, the fuck, the Switch. <laughs> What the Switch has changed about what I like in a home console has made it so that I can I can never go back to the boxes. 
I'm just saying, the new one, whatever new console they make, is probably gonna have to ha need a portable feature. Or, I'm gonna get real bummed. I'll be like, wait a minute, that one was cool, that, that one was cool! Isn't the Switch like the best selling console, or at least one of them? It's up there. My nose is still running. I was muted. I was talking about how my nose did a little squeak as I as I blew my nose. I am liter I am literally a clown. My nose honks when you squeeze it. I love how prominent and early ap early appearing One Piece character Buggy D Clown has a clown nose, but that's not like a choice. He was just born with it. Is the PS2. That's kind of wild. Like, don't get me wrong. There's great things on the PS2. Which probably is why it's one of the best ones ever. I mean, is the best console ever. But, like... It's just wild to me. Because it also just seems like there's nothing in particularly special about it. You know what I'm saying? Like... It doesn't strike me that there's stuff you can do on the PS2 that you couldn't do on... That you couldn't, like, physically do on other consoles. In a lot of ways. Because some consoles, it's just like, your controllers are so completely different. You got a whole completely different thing to work with. Hello, Stitch. How are you? Uh, Stitch, I saw you post, I think, in Pig's Discord about a Reuben P Funko Pop. I'm not about to get Funko Pops anytime soon, but I love me some Reuben love. Death, uh, de also, I didn't talk about this with Stitch or anyone yet, but Death Battle, the last Death Battle they did was Stitch versus Wa Rocket Raccoon. And I mostly watch the summaries, because that's what I love hearing is the summaries. Them talking about, like, well, these factors played important, well, blah, 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 you know, that kind of stuff. Ironically, the things I like least about death battles are the battles. <laughs> no disrespect to the animators, I just like hearing them break down the science and stuff. The fake science. Um, and But let me tell you something. They were like, in the breakdown, they were talking about, it's like, well, Rocket does have weapons that could hurt Stitch, and I'm like, bullshit. I don't think anything can hurt Stitch. That man crashed into Earth and got up laughing. Stitch is the character they call indestructible, and I completely, completely believe it. He, he's in an intersection between Toon Force and, like, you know... To enforce him like a serious comic character. Stitch can take literally. They were like Stitch's weakness is drowning in the ocean, and we have put him in the place he is most likely to drown in the ocean, and he still wins. <laughs> they made a TV series about it. He's still fine. So, in, ter in terms of the Disney character Stitch, I will always have full confidence in him. In terms of the very good Twitch chatter Stitch, I have full adoration for him. So, there you go. Both sides, two sides of a coin. Two peas in a pod. Bum 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 bum. Huh. I hope everyone's had a good day though. Yeah, my day was a little weird. Not having meds and whatnot. 
but hey, what you gonna do? Have your meds? No. <laughs> Clearly not. I didn't. Remember to take your meds, chat. At the right times, and in and, 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 and the right dosages. Make sure you're staying healthy. Med expensive. Got a raw dog. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that noted Twitch bot pup time. A, 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 a chat bot that posts emotes of cute puppies is triggered by the word raw dog. <laughs> Not sure. I'm like. Uh, can I get in touch with pup time? Be like, hey, pup time. <laughs> I am in no I am in no position to tell you how to run your stuff but let me make one let me make one filtering suggestion if I may this is any no context needed I want context give me that sweet sweet context. I love the amount of I, I love the amount of Japanese I hear that'll just be like something with you ended at the at added at the end of it. Which is especially fun in a series like JoJo, where they are just saying a lot of English name band titles <laughs> band names and song titles. And just with, with the good accent on it. Like Nito. And it also, because like some words, they're just like, we're not gonna like try and like fully translate it. We're just gonna name it basically that. <laughs> Vanilla Aisu. <laughs> Star Platinum. <laughs> Listen, not all, not all, um, accents have to be Vanilla Aisu. Um, not all accents have to be like a, a rude thing. Some sometimes it's just like no, I genuinely just love how you're saying that. Please say more words. <laughs> the only one that we all know is that cannot sound good saying anything is German. <laughs> I'm sorry, Germany. I don't know what happened, like, a, a couple thousand years ago. But someone made your language silly and angry. And, and we've all been just scratching our heads about that for a minute now. <laughs> no in between, exactly. And I'm not saying you guys should change. You guys do you f fully but I am decently concerned about the person who made it that way dissecting languages is just an entire thing I will say so I think I have talked about here that this comic takes place like trillions of years in the future and I don't know if I've said that, like... No, I have talked... This was in the last stream. You know. Obviously, I'm gonna be just fully making some stuff up. Because there's literally no possible way I, I, I could know what, what the future is gonna be like that far in advance. So, um, with that in mind... Some people might say, like, well, why are they speaking English? Are you just translating it to English? And, and it is a different language? or And to that I say, that's a cop-out. That's a cop-out. 
It's like when you realize everyone in The Legend of Zelda isn't actually speaking English. Hylian is its own language. That is not... We would not be able to understand them. And, th and thus, everything we are hearing is translated to English for our convenience. Still a cop-out. Just talking your way through a story, cat. Yeah. That'll be good. Uh, yeah. Juice, that'll be good. The main character, who is a robot, can't speak at all. And his friends, who are humans, can speak. Just not in any languages that we understand. There will be no problems in people finding that accessible, nor will they find problems in adapting that later in the future. <gasps> Hello, Lime. Lime, how are you doing? I hope well. And if not, let me let's talk. Let, 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 let's talk about some silly stuff. Like, Lime, do you think it's a cop-out when people are like, well, they're not actually speaking English. We've just translated it for you. Is that, that's what I'm saying right now. <gasps> that's good. I hope that's, oh, I really hope that's not sarcasm. Because if it is, oh no. <laughs> I have something to share. I'm incredibly nervous, but I, I, I urge you to continue. I'm just a nervous man in general. I found from someone. I've gotten I've gotten much more than nervous. Hold on a sec. How was Okay, seriously, how was Barry's emo ever rejected? Yeah? Yeah, uh huh. Does that show up real big on the on the Yeah, it shows up real big on stream bubbles. That's good to know. I, I should, you know what, you know what, I do not, I do not DM Barry often. Because I don't, because I, like, you know, parasocial, we're not friends. We were technically in the same streaming team, but <laughs> I was a pity inclusion. But I've got to send him this. If we get a response on stream. And we'll let you guys know. I was doing... Okay. Okay, so I was doing a stream. And sometimes... And your old rejected butt emo comes to mind. And how weird it was that it got denied. But I have found the absolute wildest one and cannot believe this. There we go. Am I going to regret that later? Thinking about how much Barry probably hates me? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go... D I d f chat again. Remember, don't be parasocial. I'm going to make a joke now, though. Where I will now go into Barry's chat and tell him to check DMs. I imagine he's like, I got a DM from Kale. Time to check it on stream. That Of all my DMs to check on stream. Again. That it would be wild. It would be wild and hilarious. And also, I I think any chance I ever have any kind of actual genuine relationship with Barry, that would be over forever. Be when I want. Also, I, I'm just gonna you know. What was the thing? I will say there have been a few people. I'll not say who, but like because I'm not try. I'm not literally not putting them on blast. But like, I'm like, hey, collab. And they're like, no. And I try like, well, that's the thing. They'll say, oh, I got plans. And then I try again. They're like, no. And at some point, I'm just like, I don't need, 
<laughs> I don't need the social... I don't need to build up, you know. For me, that is an event. I'm like, okay, time to be social. Blah, blah, blah. That kind of stuff. So I'm just like, okay. But, you know, that that comes with the tism. <laughs> that comes with the good old autism. You don't... You don't read, but you don't read between the lines with this, you know. You you don't. Someone doesn't say I'm busy. And 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 you're like ah, they're busy. No 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 no. You think oh, they're legitimately busy. I should try again later. Which is why legitimately, I'm always just like just tell just tell me. <laughs> Barry is not one of these people. I want to be clear. I just want to. Uh, I was just thinking about that because you know, the idea of him checking my DMs on text uh, on on stream, made me start, had me start thinking about that. I'm like, oh lord. D DMing people I am not incredibly close to. It's just funny. But, I don't know. That's the thing, right? Okay, because this is the other thing, right? Let's say a person who that happened to has is, sees this. And they're like, oh, he's pissed or whatever. No, I'm not. I would say that. I don't, I've talked, I don't know how much I've talked about this on stream. But, like, freaking. The, the, the fact that some people are like, I will say subtextual things and like you know I will add nuance to this and they should pick it up and you know that that will be our interaction that's so beyond wild to me I, I forgot I for big I forgot about that we were listening to a music with F FF F eight year I forgot your crusade and I forgot that literally today you were listening, you were talking to someone in your chat about FF8 music. But anyway. Yeah, I do kind of want to try 8, but honestly, I want to try 9 uh, before I go to the slightly weirder, like, not to be rude to Pig's favorite game. But Pig, you have to admit, it is not traditional... FF mechanics, and thus, if I want to play a Final Fantasy game, you know, eight is not where I would want to go, in, per se. It's like Kirby's Epic Yarn. I love Kirby's Epic Yarn, but if I want to play like a Kirby, probably not Epic Yarn because it doesn't have Kirby mechanics. It has other stuff going on. Anyway. I, I just want to say, like, if I'm not saying something, it's because I will literally never plan... I do not plan on saying it any time in the future, and circumstances have to change for me to saying it. I will not leave it subtextually and count on you picking it up. It's insane to me that some people think that's a normal and good part of... of... of communicating with their fellow man. I mean, there's no, there's no way to hide what I'm about to say, so I'm just gonna say it. Let me put my parents on blast here real quick. The freaking, when, like, I would get in trouble as a kid, I was like, you know, and they'd be like, you didn't do this, and I'd be like, oh, I, I'm sorry. C uh, could you ask me, please, next time? Grant I, granted, I'm making myself be, see much more polite than I probably came off to my parents, so I'll give them that. But the freaking, like... Okay, I'm sorry, but, you know, I just didn't realize I was supposed to do it. Could you ask me? And they're like, I shouldn't have to ask you. I'm like, what do you mean you shouldn't have to ask me? Talking with our mouth. That's how we communicate ideas. All right. You could write a note. You could. When I had roommates, I did ask my friends in Discord, like, hey, is writing a note passive aggressive? And they're like, yes, because I didn't know. I just need to communicate something and I would be gone for the day. So I was like, I need to leave, should I leave a note? But I didn't, because apparently that's rude too. 
I'm, I'm just going off here. Because the idea of just like, I shouldn't have to say the thing. Know the thing. And it's like, did you say it before? No. Have you communicated in any way that this should be a thing I am regularly doing and paying attention to? Also, no. But you should still automatically know. It's the freaking know how to work a floppy. It's the boomer know how to work a floppy thing this again. It's just now it's for neurodivergent people. I don't say neurodivergent, but this applies more than anything else. Of being like, simply know from birth these social norms. Hello, Shadow Mage. Per person, like, per you person, know this social norm from birth or get in trouble. And it's like, I, and I'm going to fully admit, at one point, I just don't do it as a form of protest. I'm like, if you want me to do it, I'm not sure about that, but... I mean, th that is literally what I'm going off about right now, Juice, is the idea of just, like, do have this, but we will not explain or ask about it. And obviously, you're not going to ask about it later, because you just got in trouble. Why the, f why the fuck would you ask? Be like, hey, so that thing you were yelling at me about. I would not talk about this if I thought, like, I was being so specific in my childhood. I, in, I am in part talking about this because I've, I've seen a couple things online at this point where people talk about this as a shared childhood experience. <laughs> Through cult, yeah. And I, and I would, cult, Lord, that, if they had ever actually said that, I feel like it would have gotten insane because I was a decently sheltered kid. If my parents did not, well, not, I guess shelter is kind of the wrong word. But, like, I just didn't know about stuff unless my parents like introduced me to it you know if it wasn't on cartoon network and my parents didn't introduce me to it i didn't know it existed so the idea i could absorb anything through cultural osmosis at a young developing age is an insane thing <laughs> the height of insanity So, there, there, there's your neuro, there's your like <laughs> neurodivergent rant for this stream. It's like, oh my lord. I feel like that's why I think so much about communication now. About like, hey, I'm just anxious about like making sure every like, you know, people are letting me know stuff. Because I, I almost count on m multiple people throughout life to take the assumption that without saying a word, I should already be knowing things. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I constantly ask about people's emotions. Because I am, like... I don't want people being like, you didn't know, based off of minimal clues, that I felt this way? And I was like, no. <laughs> I didn't. It's such a wild thing. I'm not even being like, this needs to change in, in society. Society. Say peacock and society. I, I just genuinely think, as a rule of thumb, I think that people across the world need to work on communicating with each other. How does this look? Yeah, now we're, we're getting that noir. That's Spider-Man Noir. I'm, I'm, I'm literally just saying, just, mm. make sure you are talking about how you feel and what you think 
you know, should change or whatever. Heck yeah, pig! Literally text me all about it. Um, Spider-Verse is the best Spider-Man movie. Period. And I will literally hear nothing about this. I don't know if I talked about this on stream. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Let me, let me say it with my chest. Juice sent me a thing about a guy talking about, like, give me your, when I want spicy Spider-Man movie opinions, I don't mean Sp Spider-Verse is good. We all know that. Give me something better. I'm like, no, you don't understand. You don't understand. When I say I like Spider-Verse, I mean, like, I do not care about Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, and, and, and Tobey Maguire. Send them out of the room now. <laughs> My spicy take is, I don't want to see the other ones anymore. I have the perfect boy right here. It's so ironic that Peter has been around for 60 years, and Miles has been around for like a, a little over a decade now, but Miles has been able to get the perfect adaptation of the source material in his motion picture, whereas... Peter has had three reboots, and I have issues with every single one of them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> well, Pig, I don't know how to tell you this, but if you think the Uncle Aaron thing was tr predictable, wait until you learn what happens to Uncle Ben. Yeah. And it's not just like, oh, you like it because it's multiverse. No, you don't understand. I, l I, chat, look me in the, in the fucking, uh, everyone, everyone get out the, the Cahill flintlocks. We're all, we're all making sure everyone hears me. I'm saying it with my full chest. I adore Peter B. Parker. I don't need Noir, or Penny, or Ham, or Gwen. I like Miles, he's my favorite, but I love Peter B. Parker. One of my favorite things is that even though B is a joke that he's the second Peter Parker in the film, mainline comics Spider-Man name is Peter Benjamin Parker. Okay, and also, yeah, I'm not talking about personal taste, obviously. If you want to go, you could, if you're like, I like the Spider-Man movies as movies, I don't care about their, and it's like, yeah, I, I, I like Amazing Spider-Man, I liked it before, so. But, he's so, I don't look at him and I'm say, oh, that's X spider man that's, you know, that's Tobey Maguire, that's, he's just Spider-Man. He's so Spider-Man. Every part about the movie is Spider-Man. When they break into the lab and Spider-Man is already very jaded and you and and able to know what Kingpin is about to say because he's been through this a million times and he's making jokes. That's so Spider-Man. Every live action iteration has something good, but the other elements are all missing something. But he's so Spider-Man. <laughs> there isn't an asterisk to it. This is what I'm trying to say. The situations and writing and portrayal of the all of it just feels like... The, the way they just like portray... Like just, for example, like the villains and stuff. Green Goblin is in the first Spider-Verse movie, but he's not addressed because he's just a part of the world. These movies are so good because they both stand alone, but if you know Spider-Man, that helps because you're able to know all the things. So therefore, you don't have to worry about them introducing these topics. It, it like, you're, it's just expect, like, it's just like, this is what the world is like. We're moving along with the story. You know, they have a bunch of rogues galleries in in across the Spider-Verse. Very minor spoiler, but they have a bunch of different rogues galleries cameos, basically, and across the Spider-Verse. But they don't 
Do you remember what they have to do for a homecoming? Do you remember? <laughs> I, I, like, this is me also being jaded about, like, the connected universe stuff. They, they so consistently killed off Spider-Man villains <laughs> for, for, like, what? I'm trying to think. Seven live-action films that to make the Sinister Six happen, they had to resurrect them from different universes. They had to make a plot so convoluted and stupid. <laughs> anyway, I'm done now. <laughs> it, it legitimately, it was very cool to see, like, you know... Willem Dafoe returns as the Green Goblin. He did a great job. I love his fight with Tom Holland in the build. I think I, that that's one of my favorite parts in Tom Holland's film because it shows how they're still like, like how they are super powerful without just like you know being like Thanos or whatever. They don't need the Infinity Gauntlet. Like these two guys with just seemingly comparably normal normal powers to some of the other heroes tear down an entire building as a consequence to their fight and i think it's super cool how it's choreographed the sp the the goblin versus spider-man fight fight and home coming is one of my favorites but still a lot of the individual spider movies just miss a lot for me whereas spider-verse misses very little so home coblin listen i got i got heated there okay I got very heated there. And I'm sorry. You are completely valid for liking the Sam Raimi films or Andrew Garfield or Tom Holland. Again, they all have something absolutely fantastic going for them. They are all... They, they are literally all different iterations for Spidey. And thus, they are all valid. But... Every time I watch this film, I'm just like, I feel like something's missing. So, anyway, sorry about that. I know Juice is like, I like it when he yells for a long time. But, gently, I was like, you need to listen to me. That, that, I, I, I told you, it's my spicy Spider-Man film take. You are completely valid for liking the live action films, but I'm literally just like... For reasons unrelated to why so many people praise the Spider-Verse films, I'm just like, no, they're perfect. I, I I think part of it might be, whereas the, if if I if I may calmly now, almost explain my feelings, I think what part of it might be. Is that. Something I, something that is kind of instrumental, to the Spider-Man comics. Is like, Peter Parker Spider-Man swings along, he he's he's just kind of living his daily life. And something crazy happens, you know, fixes that, goes on. This stuff happens to him literally all the time. You know, like, masked villains, robbers, all of it's the same. All of it's part of his day-to-day. -day. Life kind of sucks, but, you know, he's trying to make the most of it. Blah, blah, blah. Great power, great responsibility. And that is also instrumental to Spider-Verse. Whereas in, like, the live-action films, <laughs> it's along the lines of... The world will end if we don't stop the vulture. <laughs> you know. Oswald. No. Like it does, it feels a little less. I, and ironically, they try to do this with Homecoming, but it still felt so monumental. Which is why I made that vulture joke. Um. Oswald, I'm gonna, you know what? 
I gotta, I gotta discipline the bunny. Don't eat the wall, Oswald. Oswald, stop eating the wall. I'm gonna move some stuff around so you can't eat the wall. Please and thank you, stop eating the wall. Yeah. It's just one of those things where, um, I think they lose the kind of day, day in a life feel when they switch it to the movies, but Spider Verse has managed to keep that, um, which helps. It's also very minor thing, but it's also wild. There are just like webs in the in the very first big screen adaptation of Spidey. They're like, web shooters? That's insane. Movie audiences won't buy that. He should make them with his biological body. That's the version audiences will buy more. <laughs> They'll get behind that for sure. But I am a fan of organ. I, I, do, I do like me a bit of organic webbing <laughs> when the mood hits. But I, I, I'm very curious what that meeting was like. They're like, he can't have web shooters. Making a device that shoots webs, that's a wild, crazy thing. No one would expect him to be able to do that. He's, he's not Spider-Man. We gotta find a more reasonable thing. for. I, we gotta find a more reasonable way for him to shoot webs. I know... <laughs> What if, and hear me out, guys. What if they just came out of his body? Perfect, print it, ship it. It's very, I did. It, it is, it, I want to be clear. That is so much less of a criticism and so much more of, I, I, where, where did this decision come from? And I want to be a fly on the wall for that conversation. Please let me know why you were like the the organic webbing, which was in the comics. So like you know, again, that's not a criticism. Organic webbing. Way to go here. I feel like it's hard to even be like. It saved us a scene of him building the web shooters, because he is. There's a scene in the Tom in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man where he has to figure out how the webbing works, and that could have just been where he built the web shooters. <laughs> My fluid. Eh? <laughs> well, pig. Uh, f fun fact, and I guess, I mean, you were making a joke, but. Spider-Man is a teenager, not to make it a fucking Evangelion allegory for puberty, but because Tom, because Stan Lee was like, I kids read comics, but literally none of our heroes are kids. Can we make a teenager superhero? And everyone was like, that's stupid. And then they were shutting down one of the magazines, and Tom Lee was like, I'll throw Spider-Man in here, because no one, they won't let me give him his own book. And they were, and everyone bought it, so he was like, okay, I get to make Spider-Man now. <laughs> Excelsior, true believers. I did make Spider-Man, but I'll also take credit for things I didn't do. <laughs> I was thinking about that the other day. I think, I think the reality of it is, and granted, I don't know him, so maybe, maybe, maybe it's not true, but... I really think at the end of the day, Stan Lee is neither as good, well, was, rest in peace, but he was neither like as good as, you know, some people might want you to believe, nor was he as bad. He was just like a guy doing, doing stuff. <laughs> probably stole a bit of credit in his day, probably also did lots of actual creative work, so, but We've, we've gone from spicy takes to incredibly boring bland takes. 
do you think Stanley was a good or bad person? I think he was a um, human being with his own complex emotions and things going on in his life. That we, we can't put that on the internet. Well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Consider, I don't want to be on your show. <laughs> I agreed to this interview because I'm socially awkward. And, and I can't keep up with your hot takes. This was big. Keep up. This wasn't a hot take. This was, this was a mild take. This was a mild level headed take, damn it. S such a lukewarm take the world has never seen. And do you fucking remember that? You got it? Lukewarm. Mild. Just uninteresting opinion. About a public figure. <laughs> Why do these look so thin? You see these tubes? They're thin. Why are these thin? They're like a... I'm awake now. Have a good wake, Greg. Oh my goodness! Yippers. Thank you for the sub, Greg. Oh yeah, I was talking about with Ma this with Max yesterday. I need to make some bit modes because I've distanced myself from a certain show for public health, for mental health reasons. In spite of me still liking it. But. But. Um, I was like, so what should my new bitmotes be? And I, and I was like, well. One of them I was already. Th oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the 100 bits, Greg. I'll make sure to add that both of these to the support thing later. That that That's like a solid three and a half more percent on the bar. Thanks. <laughs> if you liked the fan fiction stream yesterday, I'll probably do. <laughs> I probably won't do something like that again. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I just thinking of? Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, I only remember it's a ghouls and ghost stream about Laura and her getting kidnapped again. You refuse to, you refuse to read more about Laura Juice. Don't lay your crimes at my feet for robbing chat of more Laura. Laura and Legolas. I was gonna until you said something. Damn. Uh. I will say, so if we hit the goal this month, which, yeah, it's only the 9th, so we have plenty of time. I was like, is it like the 9th or the 20th? I can't, I can no longer tell time. Um, do y'all want me to try and think of something again? Like some kind of K, another Cahill original? Or would you like it to be a stream where I give y'all the power to vote on what the what will be happening and we just go for like an extra long amount of time you know what I'm saying please let me know I I I'm I doest have to know I gotta add more text I mean not text detail yeah let's do I have found a way to add more detail to this My back already hurts. I got. I gotta practice better posture. Hello, hello, hello. No. Oh my goodness! Thank you for the twenty dollars, Greg. We are now like seventy percent of the way here, despite what the yeah, despite what the bar is about to update with. Thank you so much. He's eating. He is, and I'll use that to get some. When I get, you know. I'll probably be using that to get some 
Oswald stuff, honestly. I hope not. You really don't have to. I appreciate the support. But it's not needed. Literally the only thing... Like, that's why I have the bar. Literally the only thing that, you know... You don't lose... None of us lose anything if we don't fill up the bar. And thus, no one has to worry if the bar is filled. I'm probably not going homeless anytime soon. Unless... <laughs> unless... Fucking Count Williamsburg... Succeeds in his plan to buy up my land... And, and build a new factory on it. But luckily, me and a ragtag group of orphans... Are, are working together... To preserve, to preserve my home by, by doing some hijinks. And we're slowly growing closer as people as we do it. But you don't need to be concerned about that. Oh my lord! Well now we're definitely, now we're definitely over 70%. Juice, are you Count Williamsburg? Is that what I'm hearing? Juice is the evil count trying to buy up my land that me and the orphans are trying to stop. Juice, the orphans! Yeah, that's my married name. You married someone? Oh, yeah. Hey, Juice, do we want to talk about the epiphany? Do we want to talk to, about the epiphany we, you had today while we were discussing Across the Spider-Verse? While we were discussing, discussing men you're attracted to? We don't got him, but are you okay with it? Are you okay if I put you on blast real quick, Juice? Just a little. <laughs> Just a little bit. As a treat. <laughs> I'm okay. Like, Juice was like... I, I've realized I will let a man get away with any- a fictional man get away with anything if he's attractive enough. And ev and everyone was like, we fucking know Juice. Juice, we know. That is the most obvious thing about you. Also, who- who and how- Oh, was that Greg? With 69 bits? Thank you, Greg. Like, I- I adore Juice. Juice is like the most intelligent- person I know who also will just be like guys fish swim and we're like juice are you okay I adore it about them it's spooky season it is spooky yeah I was thinking about oh hello I I swear I hear voices every now and then when we have I am they're great I love it when it happens. It freaking... It's amazing to watch, like, the smartest person I know <laughs> just find out information literally everyone else knows. And not little feetsies. Yeah, they just get... Well, they... Well, specifically, they just kind of wriggle their way through it. You know? Like, it's kind of like if wa if w water could be made of Play-Doh and fish could get through with, like, the same motion, just slower. Which is why so many ground-type Pokemon are fish. <laughs> Boop! You know the great thing about women? They don't fart. They poop. Poop. I'll be like, uh-oh, think of me to stinky. Nah, bitch, I think you shit. God. <laughs> if you I uh, <laughs> It's a... Wait. Give me a second. I'm going to post an anime. You know what? You know what? Screw it. For, Vo for VOD's sake? For Just for VOD's sake. Let's, let's, where is it? I need to, I need to set up fucking the thing now.
do the impossible. Uh, yeah, here. Here we go. YouTube. I'm a reaction channel now. Get used to it. I believe it is. Wazeldorp. Wazeldorp. Uh. Lyle, Lyle, wake up! Maybe it... Is it... Have I just always seen it clipped? Quality content. Is it this? Is this it? It might be this. Fuck, dang. Let's see. Up. Oh, yep. Here it is. This is what I was thinking about. Yeah, Brandon Turner. I mean, he makes fantastic. Fucking like I've seen his game from his vid, uh, animation. I love, I love, wait. <laughs> that makes, I can't pause it in time. Where is it? Yeah, go back. Either. Ah, I think that must, that must be like a one frame face. Oh, that's very good. Damn. Jake's great. L love a Jake the dog. But not a Finn the human. This is deodorant, and this is any person. Uh huh. The yeah. I, uh, screw you, ads. I, 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 no. Do not. Ant anti shop at them. I don't enjoy their products or ads. Mmm, <laughs> armpits. We're not talking about armpits. We're not talking about, nor are we going to sexualize armpits here. Not today. Not today, chat. Oh. Did the thing pause? The thing did pause. Boop. <laughs> also... Greg, K hides more bunny underneath their hat. If you lifted K's hat up, it would be a smaller bunny. No, not money, bunny. It'd be a smaller bunny eating a carrot. I learned the other day that that's not a bunny thing. The reason people think bunnies eat carrots is because of Bugs Bunny, who was actually making a movie ref a, a topical movie reference in the 1930s but now it's not topical anymore so people just think rabbits eat carrots which is great i you can see in the sketch i was gonna make fossil boy this big but honestly he should be like half this size I'm, I'm, I need to, I'll need to hammer out cannon height for everyone eventually, but fucking, that'll come later. Also, if you think I will take the, this series on an excuse to draw a over six foot tall, muscly fire, fire headed woman, you're correct. It's gonna be Yang, but we're not gonna be afraid to make her cut like a Greek statue. Correct the, the correct the sins of our our fathers, you know. I 
love Tifa Lockhart. I don't love Tifa Lockhart's original <laughs> in-game movie model. You know the one I'm talking. You know the one I'm talking about. I think FF7 is a great game, except when I have to look at the the cutscene model they made for Tifa, and then I question the game. And then I question the game design. <laughs> okay, so Greg, imagine. Okay, so Greg, to to to. Fit, to know what I'm talking about with with the m with the game model they use for Tifa in FF7 I need you to imagine a um, lamp post correct okay I just need you to start thinking about a lamp post right okay now as you're thinking about the lamp post tie two weather balloons about two-thirds of the way up the lamppost. That was what Tifa would look like in cutscenes of the original FF7. And they have since, and even in official, you know, me, official FF media since then, they have corrected it. They didn't stick to their guns on that one, thankfully. But I was like, dang, girl. Whoever made that model, I was like, oh my. No. <laughs> Tifa could be mistaken for the letter P if you were looking at her sideways in that game. <laughs> Do we think we're good on the background here? I think this is enough background. And they're old, and the old internet lost their shit over it. That they did. Okay. So, how about this? Let me let me phrase it this way. While um there will be like while Fossil Boy will be in a good number of these shots, there will be two frames where it's basically just this background. Y'all think this is good? <laughs> People who do pay for my Patreon, y'all going to get mad about two panels of this? Rage. Damn it. Okay, well, what do you want me to... Uh, Smage, what should I... Give me one general technical thing to add to the background, please. And I will do that and, 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 and then hopefully we can squash this beef. More... Okay, so, Smage, I have bad, uh, anything, I said, okay, Smage, Smage, I said technical, give me a piece of tech. I'm not even going to get into the reasons for that. The color wheel picker, what does that even look like? Oh, okay, oh wait, I have it right here. So that'll be like a, so right up here, that's like a, whoop. I have to do it right. Oh wait, did, did I make a new layer? I think I did. There, it's part. The, it's done. We did it. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Yuppie! Have a good work, Greg. Okay. I I can believe you on that, Greg. That's why. I, listen. This is why I want to work at a comic book store. I mean, not a comic Well, I do want to work at a comic book store, but a bookstore in general. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I have... Here's the thing. I have an entire layer um, of different gradients to use and stuff. That's the sketch layer. 
Um, and that's gonna get added, obviously. I mean, we should probably just do that now, because fucking... <laughs> but, yeah. There's just the line art. Gradients make everything look better. I mean, specifically, I like screen tones. That's the, that's the weave in me. Sometimes. I cannot let the weave out, but sometimes. I want to. Uh, I completely forgot whatever I was going to say before this. Oh, yeah. Would y'all like to know what happens in this particular um, comic strip of, of, of Fossil Boy? There's weaves in you? Yes. No. Okay. Actually, this should probably be darker, huh? Because we are, are going to do a gradient. So let's crank that up to 95, baby! Woo! Can I get R2D2 screaming dot MP4? I, hey, you want to know a fun thing about me? Fucking completely. I need to start writing it down. I need to start making notes about, like, one second. Like, what was, which one did I use here? That's probably like 80, yeah? Did that, is, is it still intact? No, it's not. Okay. I'm gonna go with 80 and we're gonna see how that looks. Oopsie poopsie. On the next episode of Rick and Morty. What if I just really heavily themed my streams around Rick and Morty? Would I lose every relationship I have? The answer is yes. On the next, on, on the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z. Goku has sex. It's so wild because you're like, ha ha, Cahill. You're so funny. Goku would never have the sex. Not on his show. But there is legitimately, I'm not bullshitting anyone here. There is legitimately a gap in episodes in which we know the funniest shit I've ever seen. There is le there is legitimately I'm not joking you. There is an episode gap in Dragon Ball where we know for a fact Goku fucks. It's not a joke, it's not a bit, it's real. No, that's what I'm saying. Well, that, that's, guess what? Smage, that's what I'm talking about. Because, episode before, no Gohan. Episode after, Gohan. So, in, in the time between when we last saw Goku and then him and Chi-Chi had God-ordained marital sex. 